Peace and love, family. It's yours truly, Nefer Peacock Nubia, coming to you the night of October 4th. And this is very special for me because this is very different. I have never um, recorded a video around the very time of the actual moon. Um, I usually record the video the morning of before it hits or the day before so that you guys can prepare. But right now I'm actually in the essence of the moon. So I'm in ritual mode myself because the moon starts at 8.35 Eastern Standard Time, which is in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to actually show you guys a few rituals and stuff and give you very powerful keys into really manifesting what it is that you want. Um, usually around the time, because the moon is, has a silver glow to it, it is a um, good idea that I wear silver um, in celebration of that moon um, to attract the energies. Um, I'll, the air, Libra, right now, we're in the... Um, Oh, it's a Libra new moon. So I wear the colors to bring on that balance, that peace, that harmony, which are blues. And um, that they're my main air and clouds and space, which is these colors right here, which brings the elements and the energy of what it is that you want to attract. Everything is connected from the colors that we wear to the words that we say, to the thoughts that we think, to the things that we use, elements that we use in our rituals. So I want you to be mindful of this. I am so elated and so happy and excited for all of you who have written me and telling me how these videos and these rituals have been making a big deal in you guys' life. That is beautiful and that is extremely exciting. Um, I'm happy that you guys are manifesting what you want. Um, I was supposed to get my vision board and show it to you guys because I created a vision board in February. It's now October. And pretty much 85% of the things on my vision board have manifested themselves. And that's my third one. So it does work. And I guess I'll do another video to show you exactly what is actually manifested on that board. Um, but right now, um, oh, also, before I get started, I want to say thank you to all of those who've been sending lots of love and light to me and my Princess Wisdom, Bella. Uh, if you kind of see me speed through this really quick, it's because she can wake up at any moment crying, you know, when she's hungry or when she wants to eat. And um, she turns one month today, October 4th. She was born on September 4th. So it's also a very special day for her. And I'll be doing ritual for her. I actually did ritual um in order to be impregnated with her. And I also did ritual on the night that I got pregnant with her. Um, so she, she's a she's a very spiritual baby and very powerful being. Um, so I thank you, but she's very healthy and she's very happy. And I thank you guys for all the love that you sent our way. And I send it back. Let's get started because this is the harvest time. We're in the time of the fall equinox. And right now it's a very fertile time. It's really exciting because the seeds that you're going to plant on this new moon are going to manifest. And I want you to expect the things that you ask for at this time to come to you the same way as if you would get on the phone and you would call your homegirl, your homeboy to come bring you something or your boyfriend, your mother, whoever, um, or when they're on their way to you to, to your house or on their way home or whatever uh i want you and you know and they say okay i'm bringing it i'm on my way and they're texting and say okay i'm on my way i'm bringing it now you just sit there and you wait because you know they're on their way bringing it that's the same way i want you to think about these things that you're asking allah the most high the universe for like they're on their way the most high has given us these elements the moon and 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 just different elements, the crystals and earth and just this, all the elements of earth, wind, fire, and water for us to utilize and make the most out of our lives. And we should feel a sense of entitlement because you cannot receive anything that is for you if you don't have that sense of entitlement. Like I am the child, I am the daughter of the supreme intelligence that created all of this, who forms babies in mother's wombs. You know what I mean? Like I am a daughter of that. So I am an extension of that. So I am also a creatress. You know what I mean? I can't make it rain five seconds. 
you know, like, like the, my, the, 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 the being that created me can't, but I do have the supreme intelligence to say, you know what? I will for it to rain. I want it to rain. This is what I want to manifest on this day and time. And that can happen. That can most definitely happen. But you have to know that this universe is supremely magical and it definitely responds to your thoughts and what you put out there. So at this time of the new moon, I do not want you thinking about what you don't want, but I want you to think about what you do want. And you could use this information and utilize it at any time, not just the time of a new moon or a full moon, but it's especially powerful to, to add certain um, elements and colors and and moon cycles in with what you're trying to manifest because you have time periods that actually support you and making it happen faster or more abundantly for you so like right now this is the time of the libra new moon um and it's all about relationships and finding balance and harmony on our predominant most powerful relationships and so what you want to do is not just your romantic relationships, but especially your romantic relationships with your partner, or if you want to attract a certain partner, you know, we're coming into a concrete definitive time of this is, we, we all know right now, this is, I know exactly what I want. And it's because you have all these planetary alignments going on right now. I mean, you have the Grand Cardinal Cross, and you have all these different things, which I try not to get too much into the planets to throw you guys off, but I really want, I do the research to, so that you don't have to, um, and I just and I just tell you what it is that all these planets mean, and this and what you have the support of. So right now with the Saturn and Scorpio for one example, you have um, more concrete, definitive, you're in a more concrete, definitive place um, of knowing what no longer serves you. As we move into the fall equinox, anytime we move into another season, you do want to discard and let go of what no longer is for you, okay? Because that's what seasons are about, change, and you have the support of that. So you want to write down your goals, say, and, and, and being fair and being um, diplomatic and being direct and being extremely blunt about what it is that you need from the universe, from yourself, from someone else, okay? You wanna be extremely clear. You, when you t tell this to yourself, you tell this to the universe, you tell this to another person, especially, you never want to complain. You always wanna come from a place of gratitude. Like, I'm really grateful for this, you know? At the same time, this is also what I need, okay? Like I said, have that sense of entitlement because if not, what happens is when people say, oh, I hope for it, or I wish for it, because how can I get that? Well, who am I to receive this? You know what I mean? It's just say, make sure you stay in the mindset of who am I not to receive this, what I'm asking for. You know, I'm the child of the, the most high creator. I'm a creator just myself. You know, I am love. I am peaceful. I, 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 I can be loyal. I can be this. So I demand this for myself to help me manifest more for myself and others and be a better person for myself and others. And I demand this from you, whoever it is that you're demanding it from. And I demand this from the universe to give me this because I'm asking for it. I want it. And now I'm receiving it. Okay. So when you write down your affirmations you might see me glance at my journal as always you guys when you write down your affirmations you can write it in your journal you can write it on a loose piece of paper like i always tell you guys parchment paper is best which is like this resume kind of paper when you write down what you want this new moon i want you to write down this specifically i achieve balance and i have balance in all of my relationships. I am balanced in my perspective. I am fair in my dealings with others. There is harmony in my relationship to the universe, to myself, to the most high at all times. Okay? After you write those affirmations down, write, and so it is. You can write, so mote it be. You can write, say la. You can write ashe because all those are words that's that have the energy to make to seal the deal it's, it's like saying and so it is and so it's written and then after that 
right, with a gratitude, I accept it. Before you write these things down, I want to make sure you guys are clean. So if you can't shower, make sure you wash your hands. Um, be as clean as possible. Be in a sacred space. Be in a clear head space. You know, I want you to let go of anything that has bothered you. I want you to take time to breathe in, breathe out. Um, we're actually five minutes to the time of the new moon, which is really exciting. So I'll still be doing this video when the new moon comes in. Um, so, but do that. Breathe in and breathe out and really let go. If you have sage, make sure you smudge yourself, frankincense and mire, whatever it is that you do. Um, write down affirmations and goals that pertain specifically to um, manifesting what you want in fairness and balance and harmony with your primary relationships, whether it's um, child whether it's employee, whether it's friendships, but mainly your romantic relationships, if you want to attract a certain partner, okay? But make sure you're being fair. That is what the Libra is about. It's about the scales. It's about my eye. It's about balancing what's in balance. Write down affirmations like, I easily balance my home and my career life. A lot of people find imbalance there and that causes problems in their family life or in their career life where they're not obtaining their financial um, goals um, but they have good home life or they're, they're obtaining their financial goals or they're too busy running the street after chasing the dollar that they don't have time for their family or not time for God. You know, just whatever the case may be in your particular situation, you want balance. Libra, my aunt, and your stuff. Now, a few rituals that I want you guys to do that work that you guys have been telling you have been working for you. So for all of you have who have heard and who haven't heard, um, write down five things, a list of things that you want to release. Um, now, at the time of the new moon, I want you to hurry up and get through with that because at the time of the new moon, I really only want you focusing on what you want. I do not want you focusing on what you don't want at all. So quickly write down what you do, what you want to release, what you want to let go. Five, ten things. Burn it. Release. Read it out loud. Tell the universe. I, I, I easily let this go and release this back to when it came. Any bad habits, any bad thoughts, any self-defeating thoughts. We want to, along with this new moon, we want to end all self-criticism. Criticizing yourself to yourself, criticizing yourself to others, because that creates blockages in your mindset of that I want you to have of being entitled. Because we do not receive what we need to receive when we don't have that sense of self entitlement. Again, who am I not to receive this? I, this is on its way to me. Why wouldn't it be? You know what I mean? That's the kind of mindset that I need you guys to have right now. Okay? Then put the, after you burn that list of things you don't want, put it to the side. In the morning, go put it in the toilet, your first pee, pee on it, release it, flush it, it's done. Things that you do want, write them down. Don't ask, don't hope, don't wish, invoke. Say, this is what I want, this is what's going to happen, and with gratitude, I receive it. I get excited about that. Now, behind me um, is one of my shrines. And I use a lot of things from here. I've shown you guys some of this in other videos, so I'll quickly go through it. Um, so I can go feed my beautiful daughter because I'm going to involve her in rituals because today is her one month birthday. Um, but again, you want candles. Um, here's a candle that I did have, but now I just put water in it. I put clean water and it says INF for Nubia and wealthy, purity, um, renewed loves. You know, you want to always make sure you have affirmation. Sometimes if you have a regular, just a regular glass, put some clean water in it, maybe perhaps, um, you know, alkaline spring water, whatever, sit it under the moon and um, let it charge up by the moon, the water. And you can use that water as moon powered water to cleanse, purify, to use in any other rituals. Like sometimes if you just want to purify, just say, you know what? I put your hand in the water on just any day after it's been charged by the moon. It's the same one thing with your crystals. Again, sit your crystals out on your window seal under the moon. Um, even if it's not in direct sunlight, direct sunlight, I mean, direct moonlight is the best, but even if it's not, the energy of the moon is still there, even if you can't see it, okay? Even in the daytime, if some of you guys want to do rituals tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday in the daytime, the moon is still there. It's just sometimes we get more in the feeling of the moon at night and when we're in direct 
light of the moon okay and we can even moon bathe and that's a good thing to do as well so if you do happen to see the moon get in that moonlight get naked you know and moon bathe cleanse yourself okay because this is about we, this is a very powerful time right now this is a fertile fertile time so you really want to focus on on planting your seeds right now so that the next two weeks up until the full moon you're manifesting this stuff okay so like i said anytime you have your water you can use that water um if you're feeling stressed or anxiety you know just take the water splash on your face breathe say a prayer meditate um and say okay i i know that i'm renewed i'm cleansed i'm purified with that energy of the moon okay and whatever intentions that perhaps you may even set for yourself you know maybe sometimes you want to pour um i use this glass and i pour water into this glass and i drink out of it and I say, as I, and I charge my water and I say, as I drink this water, sometimes you can put wine. As I drink this wine, I am attracting abundance. I, it's, it, this is my magic potion. You know, you can say a potion, you can say a ritual over it, you know, say, I mean, there's, there's different affirmations. You, your power, the power is within you. So all you're doing is drawing it out and using the elements to support that as i drink this i am attracting this to my life i am receiving um, more love i'm receiving more bliss i am receiving more beauty i'm receiving more youth i'm receiving more help you know whatever it is okay so pour you some water put it in the moon okay there's a million rituals but these are my basic rituals you know that you can do and there's many many more i mean i have all kinds of stuff up here but you, there's many many more that you can do but the, the key is to, there's many, many more that you can do, but the key is to make it your own and really connect to the source, your higher source, because anytime anything seems greater than you, that's deception. Everything is a reflection of our consciousness. So we really have to get in a place where we know that we're entitled to the best. And that's when we get the very best, okay? And if you're in a place where you're alone, then perhaps you need to be in that sacred space to really connect to your higher self and to the most high and 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 forgive yourself for not believing that or knowing that you are worthy to receive all the things that you've asked for i'm so excited for you guys that have really been benefiting from this and um i know that you will definitely benefit from this libra new moon energy and this video and this information um let me check my journal just to make sure there's nothing else that i left out that i want to share with you guys um like i said just it's 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 the lilith moon so this is is a very powerful moon um for certain people because it gives you the power to make powerful concrete decisions okay this is a powerful moon um you want to like i said write down your goals you want to make sure that your goals are kind of built around being balanced in your perspective that you are giving and you're receiving okay so even your affirmations i need to say that i easily give and receive fairly okay um if you're sharing um but like I said, balancing your home life with your career goals. Um, have you been being fair to yourself? Have you been being allowing yourself to be treated fairly? And have you been fair to others? Okay. So this is about really releasing all power struggles and being very direct. Because um, you have Pluto, which is a planet of transformation. And Uranus, which is a planet for change. That's part of this whole thing. I'm telling you guys, this is a powerful, powerful time. So as long as you're being fair and behaving diplomatically in your expressions and how you're behaving towards others, you're going to receive a lot. What you give, you get. So give lots of love. This is also a powerful time to do romantic rituals and to give a nice gift to someone. Remember, Libra is all about beauty. So it might be a nice time to get yourself beautiful and give someone a nice massage or give a loved one, no matter who they are, a flower or some flowers or a gift from your heart because whatever you give at this time will be received with so much appreciation and you'll be giving it back to you, okay? Reaping and sowing. I love you guys. I'm gonna go get with some Bella and hold her tight and do some ritual work for her. Oh, also, let me show you guys something. I cut my hair on full moons if I want my hair to grow. I cut, just cut my hair. I don't want it to grow. But I did cut my hair yesterday. So, 
sometimes when I'm really powerful, when I know it's a really powerful moon, a really powerful time, like it is now, I cut my hair. <laughs> and I use my hair, I take my hair, and I wrap it inside of my paper with whatever invocations, okay, can't really see that, whatever invocations, affirmations that I want, I want um, I'm sorry, not the ones I want, what I don't want. Things I don't want. I take a little bit of my hair and um, I put it in there and I burn it, burn my hair along with the things I want to release, let that go. And, you know, sometimes I put them in my candles if I'm burning a candle. You can get white candles, red candles. Look up, you can always Google what candles are good for attracting what. Of course, common sense says red is for love and passion. Pink is for, you know, friendship and love and passion. And white is for purity. You know, certain common sense candles. Black is if you want to um, banish something. But we're not going to worry about banishing right now. That's full moon's job, okay? Right now, we're worried about manifesting, planting seeds, and attracting the love and balance and harmony that we need in our relationships. Because right now, it's making a break. Right now, we're letting go. We're letting go of what doesn't serve us. It is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But we want to make sure that we know what we want, what we need, and we need to make sure we know where we're going to get it. Peace and love, family. I love you always. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares. You can hit me up in my inbox or email me at nfrpeacocknubia at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram, nfrnubia. I post things on there every day, pictures every day. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I put a lot of good information up there, nfrnubia, all to see you guys be happier and in and, and love with life and manifesting, you know, because there's no reason why my family, you guys shouldn't have what it is that you want and need. I want that for you and you're going to have that. I love you. Thank you for your comments and everything. Okay. Peace. Hotel. Namaste. Happy full moon. I mean, new moon. <laughs>